With earnings just around the corner, investors are considering what the next year might bring. All attention is on NVIDIA's NVDA negative 3.26% upcoming earnings report. On November 20th, the investing community will get the chance to hear directly from the company's executive team, which plays a key role in the artificial intelligence AI boom. There are some important questions that need to be answered, such as how recent developments at Supermicro will impact NVIDIA's ability to ship its new Blackwell chips on time and meet demand. Speaking of NVIDIA, CEO Jensen Huang has called the demand insane. The third quarter numbers will reveal whether that demand is truly as crazy as it sounds. Wall Street has extremely high expectations for the company, so the level of demand will be crucial. Simply reporting strong results won't be enough at this point. As we wait for November 20th, let's consider where NVIDIA might stand a year from now. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. A successful Blackwell rollout is critical. Wall Street has very high expectations for NVIDIA. While Huang's public comments often add to this excitement, the fact is that NVIDIA's stock price reflects these expectations, trading at nearly 52 times its future earnings. This chart compares NVIDIA's valuation with some of the biggest tech companies. For NVIDIA's stock price to keep growing, the company needs to maintain strong growth. If it doesn't, the stock may begin to stabilize. To achieve this, NVIDIA has to perform at an exceptionally high level, which it has demonstrated time and again. The biggest upcoming challenge for the company is the launch of Blackwell, the latest version of its flagship AI chip. Earlier this summer, NVIDIA faced some fabrication issues, but it appears they have resolved them. However, a new issue has arisen. Supermicro, a key partner in NVIDIA's supply chain, is now facing allegations of misconduct. As a result, NVIDIA is reportedly seeking new partners. While the company seems to be staying ahead of this situation, it remains unclear whether this will impact the supply of Blackwell. Exceeding Moore's Law Moore's Law, the idea that computer processors double in speed roughly every two years, has long been the guiding principle in Silicon Valley. However, in recent years, this law's future has been in question. The reason? Chipmakers have been hitting the limit on how many transistors can fit into a circuit, which is the main driving force behind Moore's Law. But that could be an outdated way of thinking. At least, that's what Jensen Huang believes. Huang, CEO of NVIDIA, has introduced the concept of accelerated computing. This idea suggests that advances in speed and efficiency no longer rely solely on the number of transistors in a circuit. Instead, improvements come from a range of factors like networking, algorithms, software, and data center design. Huang has recently proposed the idea of Hypermore's Law, which suggests that speed could double or even triple every year. It's a bold statement. If it proves true, the modern AI boom could be even bigger than we've imagined. But keep in mind, such predictions from CEOs aren't always guaranteed to come to fruition. Stock buybacks could boost the price. In August, NVIDIA announced that its board approved an additional $50 billion in stock buybacks. This came after the company had already repurchased $15.1 billion in the first and second quarters. I'm really curious to see how much capital NVIDIA has deployed with this move and whether executives will confirm a continuation of the buybacks. Typically, buybacks are beneficial for investors. However, there's a caveat. Since the announcement was made, the market may have already priced this in. If the numbers for the third quarter show a smaller than expected repurchase, Nvidia's stock price could drop. A year from now, I want to emphasize that predicting the future is never certain. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement surrounding a stock like Nvidia. That being said, all indicators suggest a successful launch for Blackwell with Rubin, Blackwell's successor, right behind it. I believe NVIDIA will once again outperform the market and deliver solid returns. Give us a like if you like our video, 
Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.